Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Alphonse IT. In previous video we have uh, done some of the basic programs something like 10 to 20 C programs uh, C basic programs and this will be the second part of that video in which I will also be going to do 10 more basic programs of the C language. So in this video there will be not much uh, that of explanation that I like that words in my previous video because previous video was the first video and I have told about everything that is needed in the basic C programs in that video. So you can do you can see this video by clicking on that i button that is uh, popping up on the screen and in this video first of all I am going to write the program and after some time I will be going to explain it if there is something new about that program or it is difficult program but if it is very easy program then I will not be going to explain the same video same thing that I have explained in my previous video so let me start the program and let me write the first C program of this video I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, all our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy, think that it was meant to be, living in a time where disease is on every screen, I won't let them fester me, I know most are festering, negativity is a plague for the mentally weak, no mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty, I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it, it's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic, I'll go! to last with the whips, I'm weaving, I can change the past with all I'm achieving, got my foot on gas, never stop competing, if you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them, make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them, if you off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, no, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off on a mindless topic, yeah If I... This is today's video's first program that is to find the simple interest decide to find the compound interest uh, and the program is already executed uh, in the program I have just uh, given input of P, T and R now you can see the result and in the result there are 6 zeros after uh, decimal or uh, after point so to reduce that we are going to use um, point 2 that I have also explained that thing in my yesterday's video and first of all let me give, give some of the spaces after our first instruction or first comment to the user to in the input window so and uh, i will change uh, that percentage app to point two app so so that we can only get um, two decimal digit uh, after the point so i have also explained about this point two in my strategy video or in my previous video you can check that video if you don't understand in this video because i am not going to explain everything in this video but i will just uh, explain something about like if you um, write point 3 then it will be printing three zeros after point or three numbers after the point and if you write point 4 then it will be going to write four zeros so basically that point and the number determines how many numbers are that you want to print after point i have also written that on program uh, so that after uh, taking the screenshot you can also read it after some time so in the last time last like the last video i will also be giving the giving some time to take a screenshot in, at the last time so you don't have to take the screenshot now you just have to watch with watch the codes carefully and understand them very well if you don't understand you can just comment um, down anything then i'll explain it so let's move on to our next program our next program will be to find the roots of a quality equation so for that I will be using two formula in which I will be using plus and minus separately uh, there is not it is not possible to use both plus and minus in the same 
uh, operation in C program so I will be using in two programs so let me start the program Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need we're broken it's tragic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it and i know of sadness the anxious and panic the infinite vastness of all that is blackness Now I have finished writing the code and let me execute the program. So first of all give me let me give the value of ABC. I am just giving the random value. And you can see that there are the numbers. Uh, there are the answer. There are, um, there are two roots that are uh, given as answer. Because we have used plus and minus in two program in two different operations. So I have used slash t to include tab between them. Or you can just uh, also give space or anything but i am giving the tab because it will give more space between them and it will be clear for a uh, programmer uh, sorry a uh, user to see the result as for r1 at r2 r formula and there is nothing new in this program it is just basic program so i will not be explaining it too much and let's move on to our next program our next program will be to find percentage of a student by taking the number that he has obtained in 8 different subjects. So let's move on to our next program. Past, I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need we're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic But maybe there's magic, believe you could have it And I know of sadness, the anxious and panic The infinite vastness of all that is blackness In this program there is basically nothing new so I will not be explaining too much in this program. The one thing that you have to remember is mat.h is not required in this program because we are not using 
any of the functions that are included in math.h we are only using the normal functions that are included in standard input output header file that is stdio.h so you just have to use math.h only in the function uh, sorry only in um, program which require complex mathematical operations uh, you, don't, you don't have to add method as in simple addition subtraction or etc now let's move on to our next problem that is to find the air uh, and the volume of a sphere so for the volume of a sphere i will be using define that i have already discussed in my previous video and i will also be explaining about it after the after writing code let me start writing the code yeah sometimes i get so mad there's no control in me my thoughts get so bad i'm like i might grab a bat i don't know my wrath my blood boils over like Oh god here goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes you said some shit that I can't let go so just stay tuned for the rest of the show So have you ever felt betrayed which is how you see things realize something needs change Cuz I know you got me fucked up let me show you what's up Cuz enough is enough I'll take a face full of
now i have finished writing the program and uh, i am copying the program and the program is run so let me give the input and you can see that there is the output and this program is like just a basic program the only difference there is that i am using that there 4.0 so it doesn't matter you can just also use 4 if you have used that uh, uh, r uh, as an integer variable then you have to use uh, 4.0 but now you don't have to use 4.0 because r is already our float variable and another thing that is uh, the importance in this program is you can see that we are we are using math.h in this program because math.h is um, required for power function so method as is written there and for the defined uh, line or the defined statement so i have already explained about it in previous video but let me again tell you after using define you can use that value by writing typing that other um, variable or uh, anything that is if i am using the value of pi as 3.14 then i can just write pi instead of 3.40 now let's move on to our next program now our next program will be to find the area of triangle so we have already done the program to find area of triangle in previous video but uh, in this video we are be going to find the area of triangle by using base and height so let me write the program and then i will explain if there is anything to explain or uh, not if there is not anything There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so lame You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall There is not much uh, to explain in this um, program the one thing that we have to explain in this program is that i am using that float variable in this program but you can also use integer variable but if you use the integer variable then you cannot give the input in decimal form or point form so i am giving float because the user may give uh, any type of input uh, if the in if user give input in float data type then uh, if you use integer, then the program will show error or the output will be error or the output will be directly zero. So I will be using float in this program. Uh, now let's move on to our next program. And uh, our next program is to find the average of uh, any five numbers. You know, we will be taking five numbers from, as input from the user and showing the average of that five numbers in the as the output I'm falling fast sitting here praying that this night's gonna last you got it all on tap I'm loving your vibe always have your back we like all the same tracks listen all night in the sheets all black I said I'm falling fast don't remember life before
this program is very easy so i'll be directly going to another program and another program will be to find the area of the square uh, by using mat.h Now I have finished editing the code and then we compile the program and then run it. And I want to show you something in this code, so I think I should have showed that in the very beginning, but I have not written about that. So let me show you about something in this program. First of all, the code is running, and I am just uh, running the program by the basic program that we, that we do normally. That is just to give input and pass through this one. And the thing that I wanted to do is what will happen if we give multiple inputs to our program. So I'll be saying by giving multiple inputs to our program, I know the answer what will be happen, but I'll be saying it with the So in the last window, you can see that whenever I have input 2 inputs, for each just keep only one input as is. Uh, one value as its input and then calculate it and show us out. It doesn't uh, take instead of three, you know, three values because there is one, one percentage there. So percentage is responsible for taking input from our keyword to the, to the system, uh, to the code. So let's say that without percentage, uh, it is not possible uh, to take many input. So if we want to take uh, many input from keyboard to program, so we have to give many percentage f. And uh, they can also change something that we are. Um, we can also write this program by directly doing l into l. That is also l square. But I was uh, showing in the example of math dot s. So I directly use math dot s and power function to do l into x l into l so the answer is basically same whatever you want to use is your own your own choice because the user will not be able to see what for now we have written in the code so it is only for programmer so you just have to choose a method that uh, will be easier for you or that you are uh, experienced with experience with while writing codes now this program has been finished and let's move on to our next program. Our next program is to write or take input in of dates and convert the dates into years, months and uh, dates. So first of all let me write the program and then I will explain it. Please uh, watch this code carefully because it is uh, one of the hardest code that we will be going to uh, write in this video. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Same tracks, listen all night in the shades of black. Said 
I'm falling fast Don't remember life before you, that's fact I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You say Okay, now I have finished writing the code and let me explain the code. First of all, I will show the code by executing the program and let me first of all save the program and then I will run the program. This program is very hard. It's not that much hard but uh, for the beginners it is uh, hard. So I will explain it very carefully and also to uh, another program uh, as same type as this one. And you can see in the output screen that uh, our days has been converted into year, month, and year, month, and days remaining days. Uh, now, let me explain the code. So, in this code, uh, I'm just uh, doing two steps that is, to divide integer by integer and to find the remainder. So in the first uh, first years bravo days slash 365 in this scenario there is a situation that is integer divided by integer so when an integer is divided by integer the result will always come in integer form uh, it will not come in float form or uh, the or the numbers after point are neglected in the integer operation so in the situation you can say that if the input is 366 then uh, it will be doing 366 divided by 365 and then the output will be 1 point something and um, the program will not take any value after point because uh, in this uh, beginning of the program we have already declared all of the variables as integers so all the calculations uh, that are going in this program are in integer form so after the decimal point everything is useless in the first situation actually the same situation is also used in that month bravo days divided by 30 situation and i am also writing this in screen so that it will be easier for you after for you to read this after some time by taking the screenshot so it may take some time so first of all write let me write all of them uh, and then i will explain another point And our next calculation is to find the remainder so finding remainder i think we have already done in previous video or uh, if you haven't done that let me explain it first of all let me explain you the concept of remainder so remainder will be like if we divide 366 by 365 then one will be remainder so yeah, like the same situation if we divide 370 by 365 then uh, the remainder will be 5 so for the for the math student this will already know about remainder and after using remainder situation or remainder operation the days that are converted into years will be reduced and uh, the remaining days will be stored in another in that uh, days variable because we are using days uh, Braver days uh, percentage of 365 so uh, it will divide uh, it will divide our initial days uh, and find its remainder and uh, send the remainder to days variable it is work of our percentage sign and the third step you can see that months braver days slash 30 so it is also same as years bravo days slash 365 in this uh, situation also the remaining days that were transferred to this variable will be divided by 30 and uh, uh, and the value 
before percentage sign will be sent to months variable and in the next step there is days variable days percentage here 30 so it is also same as uh, the days variable days plus percentage 365 so it is also the process of finding uh, remainder and then finding remainder which is obviously decreasing the number of uh, days that are converted into months and now i don't think i just have to explain all of the things in that is in printf function because i have already explained about them in uh, previous videos and the thing that you have to remember is after finding the remainder we are using percentage sign uh, to save the value that is uh, found uh, that is uh, uh, that is found after calculation into days variable so it is not just only calculating it is changing the old value there or it is changing the value that was in days to the new value and after that the days will be printed in last uh, last function printf function i think this much will be uh, should be okay for the explanation and then now let's move on to our next program uh, after doing next program then i will also do the same example like this which makes it easier for me to learn so our next program is to receive numbers uh, receive values in dollars and convert that into nepali rupees so first of all let me write the program and i'll explain it and afterwards you could try to play but you're never gonna be me look the other way what i'm doing ain't easy bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me bloody hands break through the chains go free me looking for change looking for pain pulling a mob pushing a train i'll never stop stick to a lane pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, i'll be the best above all the rest put me to the test uh, Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next year? He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing Just bought an obsession, all in his possession, you got the retention I'll leave an impression and take a redemption, just kill no discretion Your mind is a weapon, 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me so he's been looking for somebody now i have finished writing the code and the code is a uh, very simple code this is very simple code in which uh, we are just only multiplying and finding the result so you can see that I am giving anything, giving any value and it is just multiplying that number and showing the value in dollars that is after multiplication the output is already in dollars and the thing that you have to remember is I am using integer in this program so you can also use a float uh, so if you, want, if you want user to input value in point form or decimal form so you should use a float data type because float allows uh, us to calculate everything uh, sorry every value in natural numbers or every natural numbers uh, but integer value will only use uh, rational numbers as its, uh, as its input and its output now let's move on to our next program that is uh, to convert seconds into hours minutes and seconds so in this uh, the this program is uh, basically similar to the program that we have done before i am just doing this uh, program to for uh, your better understanding so first of all let me write the code and then i will explain about it again so that it will be easier for you to understand losing time i'm fading fast i just want to make it last try to let go of the past i close my eyes embrace the blast sleepless nights and headaches stack restlessness to hell and back what's my purpose what do i grab a slippery surface a heart attack and sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief 
There's something that'll have what you need, what you need. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it, and I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness. Okay, now I have finished writing the code and um, let you first of all compile the code and then run the code. First of all, I will show you after running the code and then I will again explain about this program. So first of all, let me give any of the input so that it will be able to give us any output. I am just giving it a normal or very easy input and let me give a hard input this time. So I am also giving the random input. And you can see that answer is already shown and now let's move on to its explanation so basically the explanation is the same as uh, that i have done before uh, there is not that much of difference so in first situ situation there is a case of integer dividing on integer so i have already explained about integer dividing integer i have also explained about it in previous video and uh, the code that was uh, before this program so integer divided by integer always gives the output in integer so if we divide 36 uh, 3610 by 3600 then the answer will be 1 in this situation because both of them are integer so they will neglect the value that is uh, after point And the program is basically same as the previous one so let me write about it and then explain about it about the another step and another step is the finding remainder In this situation basically finding remainder is uh, reducing the number of seconds that were used in uh, that is used previously while finding hours so uh, in this situation we are finding remainder of second uh, by 3600 3, and then we are uh, putting that remainder into second so we are changing value of second variable by the remainder that is uh, found that is found by dividing second by 3600 3, and then we are just going to do the same as these two steps in next two steps and then we will just be using printf function to print everything that we have found till now so it's not that much hard in this code if you practice or if you if you try to understand this program so let me write about this code and then I will show all of the code that we have written till now in this video uh, to take a screenshot for you so that you can read uh, sorry so that you can uh, read them uh, in your free time and you can also copy them in your C Dev C++ or BS code to uh, do experiments.
programming and I know that the, there are some the sound errors in the beginning of the video so don't worry in next video the error will not be there I will be removing error in the upcoming videos and don't forget to subscribe the video to the, to 
get the notification of our uh, latest video updates and click on that i button to see some of the videos uh, about text and trips and c programming